All right, it's a pleasure to see you, my man. It's your time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I do like my job, but in terms of my passion, what I would love to do is being able to turn my art into my full-time work. Hi, how are you? <laughs> what is your name? My name is Brandon Lee. Hi, Brandon Lee. And where are you from, Brandon? I am from a small little city called Stockton, California. Stockton, California. And what do you do for a living? Uh, for a living, I, I work at a high school and a college, but I also run poetry workshops with youth in my city. Well, that's wow. wonderful. Yeah. My, so poetry, is that is that what you're going to be doing tonight? Yes, I'm actually the first spoken word artist that you guys are ever going to have hit this stage. So I'm super excited to bring poetry to y'all. Tell me, because uh, I don't really understand poetry, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a great intro for you. I, I bring more about life experience, things that everyday people go through. And, and where could this lead to if you did well on the show, Brandon? Well, I have like a huge aspiration of being able to put on my own large production one-man show. Okay, so t tonight's poem, is it something you wrote? Oh, I only perform stuff that I write, never be able to perform anything else. Well, and what is it, what is this one about? So tonight's poem is actually a, an ode to my sister. Are you close to your sister? Very much. She's here with me now. Oh, she's back backstage? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already love you. Make us love your poem. Beautiful, I got you for that. I have two facts for you. One, I'm six feet tall. <laughs> and two, love is the most vulnerable thing one will ever have. And you must learn to hold on to it loosely. So when it leaves, it won't exit so painfully. On July 14th, 1996, an angel was brought to this earth. Her name, Danielle Marie Gibson, but I only know her as Puff. Her smile is as wide as the universe. Her eyes, they glimmer like the star. She is my world and my sister. I, just four years old at the time, learned what it meant to love selflessly for on days in which my strength was but knee high. Seeing her smiling face would make my soul fly, but on March 23rd, 1997, I've been ground bound because she left Earth to go back home amongst the stars right next to God. But I was left here to manufacture wings out of tears and broken dreams, yet I'm still haunted by these nightmares because I have a really creative mind. And sometimes it designs these alternate realities where she is still here still alive and all the things I wish we could have done are played again and again and again and I'm tired of playing God because I got to come to terms with the fact that my sister ain't never coming back and that's the cost of love caring for someone so much that you can't imagine living life without them staring at a grave like how about I trade my six feet for yours but that's not real I know I said earlier to hold on to love loosely so when it leaves it won't exit so painfully but if this pain and these memories are all that I got left of you I won't never regret these scars I'm just trying to hold on to you somebody taken from you without you knowing but it was very beautiful for me thank you what an amazing tribute there's something very very special about you thank you really this is a very difficult thing for me to judge i shouldn't be judging it i just want to compliment you on what you just did because it was uh extraordinary thank you for so much really? so well, it's amazing to me that on season 15, it's the first time that we're hearing somebody of spoken word. There was something more raw in the way it's like singing and talking and just being 
a human a cappella. No music, no nothing, just a raw heart beating in front of us. We feel your pain, we feel your love, and you moved me to do this. Never been put on the map before. That's you. Your life has changed. 